Right, spotted a little project on YouTube um, done by a chap called Lid Motor, um, which basically uses a couple of these coils of uh, twist ties, as they're called, things for um, normally use and twist things together, like sealing plastic bags. These are garden ones for tying up plants. Got these from a pound shop, three coils. It says 20 metres approximately. I don't know if that's 20 metres on each coil or 20 metres in total. Um, but you'll see what the project is as it goes along. I'll put a link to the original uh, YouTube video by Lid Motor so you see what it really is. But we'll see how we get on. This needs a couple of these, uh, one transistor, uh, one of those 2222s, or 2N2222s, and a couple of capacitors, a resistor, a variable resistor, and a couple of LEDs, and a very low power power source. In fact, what I'm going to try and demonstrate got a couple of batteries here, nice simple meter, pop one in there, I have to do a close up, but need needle's gone right across there to good, so that's my good battery, and this is the one I'm going to use, which hopefully you can see, it's still in the red, I could have used a meter and actually told you exactly what it is but as you can see this is good enough you can see this one's pretty well dead uh, the meter's actually dropping away as I talk there going down to nothing so the the idea is I should be able to use this dead battery to light a couple of LEDs see how we get on right this is the circuit I'm going to build Again, I'll put the link to the original video. I've just copied this off the screen. Um, and what I intend to try and do is use bits that I've salvaged from actually a music center is the most of the bits here. I've got a couple of LEDs there on a little board, so they ought to do. I've got a few capacitors on here. I'm uh, not sure if any of them are suitable. We're looking for a one micro, uh, 0 0.1 microfarad and a 100 microfarad. That one's one of these sorts. We also need a 1 meg variable resistor. Now, I've got a variable resistor here. I've got no idea what it is, but I shall desolder that in a minute and see if I can use some of these bits and pieces. I did spot earlier that that capacitor there is 100 microfarad so I shall um, get that fella off, that'll be one of the items. Uh, as I say, I've got two LEDs so I should be able to use them. So I've got a bit of desoldering to do first. I shan't bore you letting you watch that. Right. Salvaged me bits, stuck them together as per lid motors diagram. Uh, I had to make a few changes because I couldn't get all the bits I wanted when I salvaged uh, bits and pieces. These little capacitors, I really have no idea how to read uh, what value they are. So I salvaged a few. I've stuck them at the front there so I can actually pull them out and swap them. Uh, it actually works with the one that I've got in there. Salvaged a variable resistor, uh, sorry, yeah, variable resistor, but that's only a 33k one. The original diagram asked for a 1 meg. Uh, the resistor there, none of the resistors I salvaged got long enough legs to use on this breadboard, so I put one of my own in there. There's a transistor in there, an N2, a 2N2222. Uh, that's one of my own, that's not a salvaged one. The capacitor's are 100 microfarad, that one's salvaged. Um, three green LEDs, I'll explain why I've got one sticking up on a extra long legs there in a minute. 
um, and the coils as per lid motors diagram. Now what I was hoping was I'd be able to use a completely dead battery to run this. Um, so this is where I've failed. It doesn't run with a completely dead battery. If I put an ordinary 1.5 in there, hopefully you'll see my LEDs are alight. Uh, let's move it closer. Now you can see all my LEDs are alight. So partial success. I'm not running off a dead battery. That one does seem to be completely dead. It's actually doing absolutely nothing on there now, so maybe I've let it go too far before I've tried it. But what I did want to show, if I pull this LED out, put it on a 3 volt battery and it works. But if I try and put it across my 1.5 volt battery, you'll see my LEDs are still alight down here. But I'm getting nothing on here and just in case you think I'm sticking it put the wrong way round yeah, it makes no difference that LED will not run off of one and a half volts and yet I've put it the right way round on here and we're running so, it works, one and a half volt battery, using these twist tie coils from, bought three for a pound in the pound land, uh, done nothing to them, well actually I've run a bit of tape around them just to stop them going loose inside, because there was cardboard in the middle, but I've taken the cardboard out so you can actually see that you can see straight through there's nothing in there um, so that's exactly as they were packaged on the original bit of cardboard one's turn, turning one way because they're back to back one goes one way one goes the other way and all that's happening is as the capacitor's charging up there's current flowing that switches the transistor on when there's enough car uh, enough voltage that discharges the coil so they drop back the other way and because it's charging and discharging there's enough current and voltage being generated to run the LEDs I didn't explain that as clearly as Slid Motor does in his video so I will put links on my um, video summary so that you can actually uh, get to his video and see how it's done properly. But I'm happy. One and a half volts is running my LEDs. Disappointed I couldn't use my completely dead battery. Um, but that's probably because I haven't got all the uh, resistors and capacitors quite right as per original diagram. And there we go. Just thought I'd take this a stage further. Uh, this is my bag of batteries that I normally put out for the dustbin men to collect. Um, I've got a voltmeter here. And I just thought I'd. Tr uh, I've also put a little um, top of a pen over my LEDs to see if I can actually 
see whether they're light or not. Um, let's just try one of these batteries. So just about 1.3 volts. Stick that in there. Uh, I can just see them flickering. Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah, you can see me switch them on and off. So that's 1.289 volts. Put that one to one side. What's this one? Just under a volt, 9.933. Stick him in there. Oh. I don't know if you can see, but that's a light straight away. Let's see. You can see it coming on and off just about. So that's just under a volt. What else have we got? Point six two of a volt. Yeah, I saw that come on. It's not clear, probably needs to do it in dark or whatever, but I can see it coming on and off, I don't know if you can. Six of a volt. What else have we got? Oh, that's a good one. One point three. Oh, relatively good considering it's in the scrap bin. Oh, you can see that's well on. So it's running on voltages right down to 0.6 of a volt, uh, but that one I tried earlier on was um, when I measured it. It was 0.4, so that was um, way down. Let's try this one. Uh, that's going to be all right. Let's something a bit flatter. Funny, it makes you wonder why I'm throwing these ones out and they're giving a reasonable result. Oh, 1.3. So, what was my worst one? for you to be able to see them. Obviously they're not fully alight, but they are alight. So being as that's going off 0.6 of a volt, that's not bad. <laughs> 